The best thing with my car is like every time I drive my car, it's like the first time. I always have the same pleasure. I never step in my car and like not thinking about the pleasure I'm actually having driving the car. Not a little thing, you know, like feeling the wood steering wheel, you know, having my hand on, on, on the shifter, like boom. Every time it's like the first time, you really like this. I step in my shovel, it's like the, the first time you have sex every single time. So my name is Chris Elise. Chris is short for Christoph, and I'm a sports photographer. I cover most of the NBA, I also cover PBR. It's photojournalism, so my style when it comes to photography is like doing the job, like you know, telling the story of the game, of the competition, the emotion of uh, the athletes through photography. I would say I'm very influenced by the cowboy, you can tell, you know. Uh, there's this song, my heroes always have been cowboys, and it's really like this, you know. I started watching Western movies with my grandfather when I was a kid. And I have this appeal for the West and I appeal for the cowboy, the cowboy way of life, the rancher, the guy who, who walk in ranch, you know, the guy who ride in rodeos, in a ride bull, stuff like this. So my style is a mix, mix of the, all the cowboy along the, along the history. I grew up in France with, uh, my father was good with cars, but we never had this kind of cars, you know. I never, I never been around like classic cars. So I know nothing about the me mechanical aspect of it. Back in the day in France, we had like three TV channel and uh, not a lot of French production of TV show and, uh, and the movie was like really intellectual. So I grew up basically watching stuff like Starsky Hutch, Dukes of Hazzard, uh, watching movie like Bullet, watching a lot of American movie. And I've never, actually never been like really into car, except for all this muscle car, you know. My father was crazy about this Ford Torino in Starsky Hutch. I always love uh, the General Lee, sorry, in Dukes of Hazzard. So I always like have a thrill for, for this muscle car. And when I moved to the USA, after one year, I buy my first one, 1969 Mustang. And uh, one after the other now. And you know, to this day, my dream car is still a 1969 Dodge Charger. So that's my, uh, that's my second, the second car I bought in the USA. I sold my 1969 Ford Mustang because it was a really beautiful. I love the front of the Ford Mustang, but not enough power inside. And I bought the, this 1968 Chevrolet SS, the SS396, it's 350 horsepower. Uh, manual transmission, I'm a French guy, so I learned to drive manual and like, you know, the thrill of like shifting gears really mattered to me. So there's four on the floor. Uh, it's a professional restoration done, done in uh, North Carolina, and uh, I love this car. It's a really, it's, it's a muscle car. It's like, you know, when you shift gear on this car, it's like, wow, she's jump, she's roaring, she's ready to, to hit the road. Love this car. I can drive this car like every single day. I put oil in it and that's it. And once in a while I get an oil change and I make sure for a few stuff are, are fine. But contrary to what people think, these cars are pretty like sturdy and like they can they can drive. I've been with this shovel all the way to uh, to San Francisco. I have a Dodge Super B 1969. I drove to Las Vegas many times, all around the West. And you know you don't have much to do. You just have to to have like a, a very healthy body, an healthy engine, everything neat, no rust, and you're good to go. It's a trip on memory lane for a lot of people. These cars are like, there's nothing more American than this classic car from the 50s, 60s or whatever, but this muscle car, it's like a lot of people remember my boyfriend, my girlfriend, I had it, my brother, my sister, my father, I had one, I regret selling one. So he put a smile on people's face and that's, that's, that's really a cool thing. You, you, you drive this car half a day, you, you interact with like thousands of people around, around Los Angeles. It's 
speaking of memories, driving this car, does it remind you of your father? Yeah, kind of, because my father was from the West Indies for a French island called Martinique when the, the car culture was important. So he never had like big, expensive car, but he has his car, he was taking good care of his car, and uh, he liked to drive, he liked to speed a little. So yeah, I have this, the difference is like, it reminds me of my father who sometimes I, I'm feeling I'm in the shoes in my father because most of my memories in car with my father was being on the back seat and watching my father, you know, and listen to him. And now, driving the car and having the same afro he has like most of his life, yeah, it definitely makes me uh, think about it.